Hello and welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate the technique in just a few minutes. Today, we're going to look at how to create a curve directly on a database entity. So there are times when, let's say you want to trim a quilt using an arbitrary curve that might not be readily available, and maybe it's not possible to create this curve using the intersect operation. In such cases, you may need to manually draw the curve, but you need this curve to be drawn directly on a specific database entity or a quilt. Here, I have my pointwise project file open that contains a model for a section of a fuselage with two quilts on the upper and lower sides. To get started, you can choose the Curve on Database option from the toolbar or from the Create menu under the Draw Curves option. OK, so when you enter the Curve on Database panel, you see several options and tools that you can use to perfectly tailor this curve. For example, you can specify the type of curve, whether a connector or a database curve or maybe a source curve. And you can also specify the segment type or even an option for explicitly selecting the database entities on which you want to draw this curve. So let's look at some of these options in action. So let's click somewhere on the top surface. Uh, we're going to leave most of the options as default, but I want to show you how you can use some of the advanced options to specify the endpoint of this curve. Uh, so let's check the advanced option. Here you can manually specify the X, Y, Z offset or even the UV coordinates of the endpoint. Additionally, you have this movement restriction option, which by default is set to unrestricted. But you can choose from different options, for example, body Z, to restrict the cursor movement to the Z axis. Let's just leave this as unrestricted and click somewhere on the other side of this top quilt. Uh, so you can see that we drew this curve on the quilt itself, and it is nicely uh, following the curvature of the database entity. So let's draw another curve. I'm going to select the end point of the previous curve as the starting point of the new one. And this time from the panel, I'm going to choose the Bezier option for the curve segment type. And let's click somewhere else on this quilt. Now, because I chose Bezier function, I get the two slope guides. And making sure that the slope guides box is checked here on the panel, I can move these guides around. And in fact, I can make sure the slope at the beginning is tangential to the end of the previous curve. And before I click apply, I can also change the entity type to database, which will allow me to create a database curve instead of a connector. So let's click apply, and there you have it. Now, let's try something else. In the panel under the UnDatabase frame, we can choose a specific quilt on which we want to draw the curve. So let's click Begin, choose the quilt on the lower side of the fuselage, and click End. Now let's draw a Bezier curve starting at some point. Here I'm going to restrict the movement to body X and choose the endpoint to create this curve that moves across the quilt along the x-axis, and you can click Apply. Finally, let me draw another curve on the same quilt, but this time I want to show you that you can even change the segment type from Curve on Database to Line on Database. So in fact, you can play with all of these options before applying changes and finishing up the draw curve command. And this is how you can draw a curve directly on a database entity. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.